Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mahesh Karia. You're watching me on YouTube now and in this session I'm gonna take you through AWS API Gateway. So without wasting any time, let's deep dive into it. So you just need to search for API Gateway. Search for the API Gateway. You will get this very first link. Just click here and you will be greeted with this beautiful page where the simplest definition uh, you can assume this in that it is a gateway okay to connect the aws resources and of course you can create the restful apis http apis the web sockets and much more so uh, directly you can connect this apis to your lambda function or dynamodb or n number of possibilities that you can utilize okay so why we are using this uh, just to to open the portal let's suppose okay through which external uh, world can access your resources of aws so this is this is why we are using it okay so normally they have a uh, this kind of uh, categories http api websocket api rest api and this is a private rest api okay so of course you can connect lambda function and http backends whatever it may be okay We'll go with the uh, very first one, HTTP API. Just, you just need to click here on the build. Once you have this, uh, you can of course add integration if you want. Like I, I, the Lambda function, let's suppose you can choose. For now, I'll go with the API name. API name would be just uh, hello world or something. Okay. This is not executable uh, because uh, I haven't got created any lambda function yet so this is just uh, the kind of route you can create once you have a kind of lambda function here or http call okay and then you can choose your lambda function here since i don't have any i can create new one uh, or else like let, let's try to create new one as well and here i'm going to open my aws uh, console once again i don't need to sign up i'll go to the management and here i'll search for the lambda why lambda if you are not aware about lambda this is serverless uh, the platform where you can write your code okay and uh, you can connect with this api endpoints this is not the standard way of using this in the production ways we don't use this kind of uh, techniques uh, moreover we use the serverless or sam cli in order to create a yaml config and deploy through via cloud formation templates okay but this is this is the uh, ui thing that most of developers also uh, like to follow because it's it's a kind of uh, easy uh, to to use ui okay so of course again once again uh, this is how we create function let's suppose i'm going to create a new function node.js is a common runtime you can use python .net go java ruby whatever it may be of course create function and that's it this is it advanced settings you can go if you want like enable code sign in enable function url and a number of other things okay so i'm i'm not going to do this because i'm going to do this manually that's why we are uh, doing this okay so i don't have lambda function yet but in ap south one i'm currently in ap south one make sure to choose a region properly otherwise uh, if you create something in us is to and it won't be available to ap south one okay this is very region centric things so yeah this is how i have created this hello lambda function okay now if i go here if i click on it okay i let me refresh this uh, might be i'll choose this then i'll choose this might be i'll get this hello world now so yeah this is it and this is my api name if i'll click here i can add route manually so if you go here, uh, we we don't have any route here, okay, based on the uh, event that you can detect what the path you are getting and based on that path variable, you can uh, create the route and you can attach this route. So for now, I'll, I'll have a normal gate route, okay, a resource like this an integration target will be hello world, that's it. You can add multiple routes if you want, okay, any route you can directly pick like this instead of this one it will pick any route and uh, this is not the right way by the way so i'll go with this one only so yeah let's try this stage name will be default are you aware of stage name stage name is something like production deployment staging or if you have any other name you can 
or definitely feel free to provide okay stage name accordingly i'll go with the default variable that is provided this is my the simplest uh, api gateway that i'm trying to create okay so once we have this thing ready we'll get a url this url and if i click here on the url i'll, I'll get this hello world uh, from lambda so that was the easiest way of doing things and of course for the lambda you have many things that you can uh, see here uh, the test cases directly you can write uh, test test from here this event.json you can use this test templates and in the monitor it is connected to cloudwatch logs you can go here and inside the function whatever you have wrote inside code like uh, let's suppose I don't have any console log here or system out or uh, print ln so I don't have any so I can't see here but of course this is the debug way of doing lambda and working with lambda so here you can search for it you can click here these are my log strings once you have uh, make sure to check timings so when the lambda got triggered you will get this bunch of things okay this this got started this got initiated and all the things the if you use the console log to debug this thing uh, definitely you can do it okay now let's suppose if you wanted to make some changes here okay make sure to use this uh, left bar this is super important okay i will go to the routes let's suppose i am introducing a new route there okay so what i need to do is to create a new route here uh, let's suppose let me let me do this first and here i'll be using now this will be again my gate name let's suppose okay and here's my gate name after that i'll i'll uh, write uh, sorry i'll click here i'll attach authentication if required or integration you can try this out but make sure to hit deploy and select the stage I, ha I don't have any stage for now the another thing authorization you can utilize or, or create or attach any authorization if you if you want to create okay so it it all depends on you how you uh, go with authorization stuff okay just click here on integrations this is my integrations okay uh, this is my integrations let's suppose send the request to http uri amazon event bridge or this kind of step functions that you can use to integrate something and you just need to hit create that's it and i'm aware uh, like i'm sure that you guys are aware of course course policies allow you to have a cross origin uh, support uh, so your your this dns domain name server is publicly available and you can you can uh, in the front end let's suppose in react or android app you won't get any course errors okay that kind of course error you need to configure from here okay so these are the allow access policies the star and uh, application methods using star you can use okay allow access credentials save no headers are allowed no headers are allowed I'm not aware of uh, the things here, but uh, maybe stars or all star. Yeah, this star I was talking about. And here, I don't have to write anything. Here as well, I'll use this star, star, star. I'm not sure, but uh, this is this is how you can check the configuration later. Uh, so where you can configure any of uh, let me clear this first okay any of routes you can configure it manually the the most important part is the export okay here uh, you might have heard of swagger which is a documentation that documentation you can directly export from here okay or download from here so so this is this is the uh, let's suppose my latest configuration source that i'll be using and of course you can click here on learn more to uh, learn the things so let me show this file to you guys uh this should be open in vs code i have vs code already inside my system so that's what i'm i'll be using it oh it's using 
X code somehow. So yeah, this is open API documentation uh, for the this. Uh, you can see this route that we have created and that's what like you can use as well. So swagger is something directly you can export from here. Okay, of course you can create the stages as well. Make sure to create stages like dev would be my stage and uh, inside that you can use the dev variables here. Let's suppose my MongoDB uh, Mongo URI. Okay, so something like this to 7017 let's suppose this is my environment variable so you can use like this this is my day when uh, attached deployment no not for now so these are the staging Ma uh, this matrix I have already showed you uh, this is how uh, you can check logging and you can monitor what's going on so uh, you can use cloud watch of course which is a normal way of doing things so now you can deploy uh, your changes okay to dev okay so uh, make sure to deploy first on dev check properly and then deploy to uh, official uh, prod server okay so this is this is it this is this is all about uh, that you should know in terms of api gateway and uh, of course lambda function is is not the only uh, resource that you can connect apart from that there are many other resources that uh, like you can create as well so I'll go again into API gateway uh, I'll quickly delete this thing in action you can hit delete and this hello world you just need to delete and here we go this it was the simplest way now make sure to use a uh, weak socket as well if we if it is required to you uh, so it will continuously monitor or check the API calls okay so the real-time chat applications where we can use WebSocket and uh, this REST API of course uh, so what is the difference between REST API and HTTP API is super impressive uh, REST API is of course traditional APIs that we used to call REST APIs HTTP APIs are the low as, as you can see here build low latency cost-effective REST APIs okay and there are built-in OAuth features and course uh, support that that's why we were doing the things uh, in there only in rest api what you have to do is to create a manual course uh, middleware so and manual authentication providers that we use here inside rest api so that's the difference and wave socket of course you guys are aware of so for now in this today's tutorial i i can't see this is not available now so for now i guess this is it uh, so thank you so much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been pleasure to be here and please let me know inside comment box what you want from my side definitely i'll make it for you guys and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and smash that like button if you enjoyed see you soon in next video till then tata bye bye